excuse me, um, is this seat taken? I'm asking if it's okay for me to sit. Yeah. Uh, is that? It, it's me in my seat. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it, it might mean, um, it means that I don't know if somebody is sitting here or not. I, I just don't know. And I don't want to, it might be your seat and you might have stepped away for a moment. Yeah. And I don't want to be rude. Yeah. So I might say, excuse me, is this seat taken? Mm -hmm. And you may, your friend may say to me, it is, my friend is sitting here. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then I go, okay. It's not taken. Right. Or, or you might say, no, there's no one sitting there. Mm -hmm. So it's a polite way mm -hmm. to ask a question. Okay, excuse me is always a nice way in English to start a question. Okay, excuse me, uh, can I borrow your phone? Or, or excuse me, uh, can I, uh, excuse me, could you help me find, uh, can I ask you for a direction? Excuse me is a nice introduction, a polite way to ask a question. I said, excuse me. Okay? What it means is nowhere near here. Hmm? What's it's that? nowhere near here. Right, it's nowhere near here. What do you mean? Um, Number three, that, three. Yeah, that's a good question. It's nowhere near. Uh, can you tell me can you tell me where Chinatown is? Chinatown. Instead of the university. Okay? The question might be if I ask you, if I ask you, um, could you tell me where Chinatown is? If it's far away, you would say it's nowhere near here. It's far away. Oh, it's far away. Right? No, it means far away. Far away, not close. Yeah, is it? Right? Okay. Good. Now let's look at the next page. And. Not on page 24, but on page 25. Now, are you familiar with a verb? What a verb is? Yes. Yes? Right. A verb denotes what? A verb means? Action. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Right. So let's start. Um, the first one up on top. Um, pr present, past, and plural. Do you know what the word plural means in English? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More than one. Yeah. Or, right. So would you start with the first one, please? Excuse. Excuse me, uh, the teacher excused me from classes yesterday. The teacher excuses somebody from classes every day. Right. Excuse so, me. do we know what excuse Remember before, wherever I said, excuse me, is the seat taken? Remember on page 23, I said, if I wanted to ask somebody politely for a seat, I would say, excuse me. Is this seat taken? Mm -hmm. Excuse me from uh, Right. So here's another excuse me. Um, I'll write this down. This is another, it gets a little confusing because. Confusing. This, right? I can feel most of the meaning. It can, it can have a double meaning. Uh, excuse me. May I, is someone sitting here? Um, excuse me. And, and the first one, A, excuse me, is someone sitting there? In B, the teacher excused me from classes yesterday. So excuse me in this sense means um, the teacher relieved me or um, the teacher excused me the teacher let me go. Let me go. Let me go. The teacher, the teacher said, I don't have to come to classes. I didn't have to come to school yesterday. So excuse, excuse in this sense can mean permit me. It, it can mean um, 
let go. Uh -huh. Not let go. Yeah. He was, and then the, the C here, the teacher excuses somebody from the class every day. The teacher, the teacher um, uh, lets somebody not have to attend the class every day. Okay? Does that make sense to you guys? You all? The teacher allow him. Free to go. You can excuse. You can go. You can go. Right. One can one can go. So there's a little bit of a double meaning with some of these words in English. And let's do number two. Sir? Number two? Yes, please. Can can you help me? Help. We know, we know what help means. Right? Do we? Okay. He, he helps me to find the post office. Right. She's always helped her mother. He is helping us to build the house. Right. So this is a verb, help. It means action, taking an action. Can you help me move this table? I see. S singer, I see. okay? He helped me to find the post office past tense. He, he, an action already took place. He helped me mm -hmm. to, the, okay? And here's the plural, she always helps her mother. And he's helping us build a house. Okay? book and see if it's underneath here. I'm going to turn it over and see. Okay? But see, that's that's another thing about, anyway, that's a very good question. Turn. He turned to the right, but it could also be uh, turn, meaning um, Whose turn is it now? Do you, do you follow me on that? That's where it, that's mm -hmm. where. So turn right at the next corner, turn right. And uh, whose turn is it now? Mm -hmm. Turn the wheel. Turn the, turn the wheel. wheel. So there's different, you know, there's different uh, meanings for turn. But they all denote 
an action, right? They all denote taking an action. Would you read the next one for me, please? It's number four. You can't miss it. I went sent on and I missed my Tony. I miss all my friends very much. He's in London now. And he misses his friends here in Tokyo. Very good. So here again, we have kind of a double meaning. Um, I went straight on. I, I went straight on and I missed my turn. What does that mean? I missed my turn. Lost my way. I passed it. I I missed my turn. Oh, I should have turned over there and I didn't do it. I missed my turn. I missed. Okay. Right. But I miss all my I miss my friends. I miss my friends in America here. So you see how the difference is? I miss my turn. I miss my friends. But I, 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 I miss my friends. I, I, I think of them. I'm sorry? I miss, I miss, I miss, I think. No, I miss, I think. I, I, I should have, I should have stopped here and I didn't. I missed where I was supposed to be. I missed it. I wasn't where I was supposed to be. I, I got you know. I didn't. I didn't get off the bus where I was supposed to get off the bus. I missed my stop. But also, I miss my family here in Thailand. I miss my friends. You see the difference? Do you see? Okay. How about turn down? <coughs> turn down. Uh, uh, turn down? Well, that, yeah, that, that would be... Turn, again, is a verb because it denotes action. Turn now. Not now. Down. D-O-W-N, down. Turn, down. turn me down. Turn down? You see? That's, that's a very good question. Another use of turn, a verb, action, turn your, your sons, turn down the music, it's too loud, please, turn it down, turn it down, denotes action, that's very good, that's another use of, of the word turn, okay? Um, would you like to read one? Number five. Good. So, um, go. Should I stay? Or do you want me to go? Should I go? Right? Should I stay or should I go? Um, go. What does go mean? Teacher, how is different way to you? Should I, would I, could I? How is different way to you? Should I, could I, may I? Should I go? May I go, would I go? How is different way to you? Okay, so if you're saying, I want to ask you a question. Um, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. Should I go this way to get to Rio Monte, or should I go that way? Okay. Um, 
If if I was now, I might be waiting to shop with somebody shopping, mm -hmm. and there's people in front of me, and I may say to you, "It's late. May I go in front of you?" Mm -hmm. Okay. May I may I go in front of you? Mm -hmm. I'm asking permission, mm -hmm. but it still denotes an action. Go move. Okay. And cool. Who? 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 I. How to use who I? Oh yes. Um. Again, if I was in line at the cinema and I, the, I wanted to get in because the movie, the. Could I go? Could I go in front of you? Could I go? Should I go? Could Could I and and may I go are very similar. May I go? Could I go in front of you? You're asking a question. Uh -huh. Okay? Could I go in front of you? May I go in front of you? Um, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm, I'm going, future, I'm going to a restaurant tonight. Okay? What are you doing this evening? You could ask me, what are you doing this evening? And I'll say to you, I'm going to a restaurant. Okay? Going. I'm, I'm going to a restaurant tonight. Right? To a restaurant tonight. A future, future tense. Okay? Um, Who would like to read the next one, number six? Okay. Would you read number six, please? Yes. Number six, happen to. A. Do you happen to know Mr. Cooper's telephone number? Good. I happen to know his telephone number. Yes, of course. I know her. She happens to be my sister. Did you happen to listen to the radio last night? Mm, okay, good. Happen to. That's a different word. Different word, right? Happen to? Um, I want to call Brother Tim. I want to call Brother Tim. Do you happen to know his number? I want to call Brother Tim. Do you happen to know his cell number? That's the first question. Do you happen to? Do you do you know? Do you know? Okay, that's what did happen. Do you happen to know Brother Tim's phone number? Okay. What? Why do you speak? Do you do you know Mr. Cooper Hepburn's number? Because I'm not sure that you know. I'm not sure that you know Mr. Cooper's number or Brother Tim. So I'm asking you. Do you do you happen to know Brother Tim's number? I don't know whether you do or not. So I'm asking a question. Okay, right? Do, do you, you happen? Have, to? Do you happen to know the same? Do you know? Can yes, you? yes, yes. That's that's very right. Re, re, redundant. It's somewhat, somewhat. Good, good. That's a good word. <laughs> Repetitive, repeating, redundant. Um, and. In answer to the question, do you happen to know Brother Tim's number? And it it would be um, yes. It should be better number B. Yes, I happen to know his telephone number. Oh, 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 language. Yeah, yes, I do. I do. I do know Brother Tim's number. Do you happen to know Brother Tim? Yes, I do know Brother Tim's number. Okay, and then. Uh, do you know, um, do you know how to? So someone could say, um, do you happen to know Mr. or, or Mrs. so-and-so, and, so and, so, and uh, yes, of course I know her. She happens to be my sister. Okay.
okay? Does that make sense to you guys? Does that make sense? Here's another way. Do you happen to know Brother John? Yes, exactly. And, and how would you finish that in there? Do you yes. have? Of course. I happen to know Tito John. I, I should, it would go like this. Do you happen to know Brother John? And you would say, yes, he happens to be my teacher. Yeah. Okay? Yes, he happens to be my teacher. Um, okay? That's the question and the answer. Right? Okay. And, and then the other one is, did you happen to listen to the radio last night? You know what the radio is? Yes. Radio? Yes. Did you listen to the radio last night? Did you watch television last night? Yes. Yes, sir. Right? Uh, did you did you happen to listen, or did you happen to watch television last night? Uh, by chance, did you watch television? It's another way of saying, did you watch television last did night? Did you watch? Did right? you listen? Yeah, yeah. But it's asking a question, not really knowing the answer. Okay. <laughs> did you happen to watch that program? Did you happen to watch that soccer match? Did you right? happen? It's asking the question, okay? This is a formal or informal way to use. Happen to formal or informal. It's a little. I think it's a little. It's a personally. I think it's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit um, more, polite, more polite. More of a polite way to ask a question. Did you watch television last night? Did you happen to watch television last no, night? I, yes. Okay, it's a little bit, I would say, softer, gentler okay. way to ask a question. Okay, you with, with, with you not knowing the answer. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, now, page twenty-six, because this kind of goes to something that we're talking about. Page 26. Read the first one, if you would, please. Number one. Number one. Excuse me. Can you help me? Excuse me. Could you help me? Right. So that's can and could can be used in the same sense. Can? Uh, can I sit here? Mm -hmm. Could I sit here? We were talking about this before. Mm -hmm. Just a, a, a substitution. Can you use instead of? Exactly, in place of. Instead of. Can I help you? Could I help you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Make no difference. Makes no real difference. Okay. Because as you see, it's a substitution. Substitution. Do you know what substitution means? No. Sub Sub substitution? Can he, can, 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 can. Substitution means in place of. In place of. Right. How, how to spell. Right. How to spell in place. I am. That's good. In place. In place of is another word for substitute. Okay. Can you instead of? Right. Instead of. In, instead of. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. In place of, instead of. Okay. So that, that's very good. Okay. And this is. Um, would you read the next one, please? Can you tell me where places it is? Can you tell me where the restaurant is? Can you tell me where the post office is? Can you tell me where the, the airport is? Can you tell me where the railway station is? Yeah, that's pretty clear, right? You're just asking a question. Yeah. 
and they're just, where's the restaurant, where's the train station, right? Did you do the third one for me? The post office is nowhere near here. The post office is two miles away from here. The post office is on the other side to go. Yeah, this is just kind of simple. You're asking a question, and they're just saying it could be, there could be different answers, multiple answers, right? So that's a different, it, what's, what's interesting is that when you're saying which way is it, by saying do you know, it's, a, it, it's more of a polite way of asking a question. And I'll show you the difference. If I said to you, um, which way is it to the theater? Which way is it to the post office? Which way is it to the restaurant? Or I could say, which way, is it, which way is it to the post office? Do you know? Which one sounds better? Which one sounds more polite? Do you know? By putting do you know at the end. It's a kinder way to ask a question. Right? Does that, does that sound about right? Can. Can you teacher? Uh, do you know which way is it to the theater? Use do you know in front of the center? That's a, that's a very good question, and that you can do that. That's just another way of asking a question. You could say, do you know do you know where the university is? And that's again that's a more of a polite way of saying where's the university? You know. If I came up to you and said, where's the, where's the English school? You might say, well, a little bit of an attitude. You know what that means, an attitude? If it is strong. It's just it's strong. Mm -hmm. But it might be if I said, do you know where the, Engl uh, do you know where the English class is? Mm -hmm. Or I could say, which way is it to the English class? Do you know? Mm -hmm. it's some, Again, some it's, a, it's a better way of mm -hmm of asking a question. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, that was very good. Would you do the next one, please? Number five. Turn right at the next crossroads. You, can, uh, you can't miss it. Turn left at the next crossroads. Go straight on. Turn the next, turning on the right. Turn the next, turning on the left. You can't miss it. Right. So do you, do you, they're asking a question, um, and do you understand what you can't miss it means? Uh, you lose, lose the chance. If, 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 um, if, I, if I said to you, if, if I asked you a question, which way is it to the temple? And you said, Oh, it's just over there. You can't miss it. Okay? If I said, where is Brother John right now? You would say, he's over there. You can't miss him. Right? It's, it's, it's another, I, I really don't know why they're having it in there, but it's kind of a silly, silly one, but it's just, you can't miss it. It, it's right in front of you. Where's the blackboard? You can't miss it. It's right here. Right? So that's. You can't see it. Would you read the next one, please? Can you tell me how far it is to the university? Yeah. Will you tell me how far it is to the university? Would you tell me how far it is to the university? Will you mind telling me? Oh, will you mind telling him how?
how far it is to the university. Very good. And what this is, what this really is, is a number six. It's four ways of asking a question. Can you tell me? Would you tell me? Could you tell me? And would you mind telling me? 